Hello and welcome to the Movie Pope channel, where today we get to discuss Echo, another piece of Marvel content that came out on Disney Plus as a part of their Spotlight series. Now, some of you might be wondering, who is Echo? Well, that's easy. Remember that show Hawkeye? Good. Now, remember the villain Kingpin in it? Okay, we're getting warmer now. Well, this is a show based upon one of the henchmen that worked for Kingpin. Echo. Yeah, the deaf one. So, our story focuses around Maya Lopez, aka the titular character of Echo, as Disney tries to do a 180 on her character. Now, Maya continues to want revenge on Kingpin's empire after the death of her father, even though she did shoot Kingpin in the face and he's presumed dead, but she still wants more revenge, I guess. While injured, she finds herself returning to her hometown that she left abruptly at a young age. Now, will Maya be able to reconnect with her lost family and her Choctaw roots, or will her rage consume her? Well, let's find out. The series starts off with a flashback as we see a 7 to 8 year old Maya with her newly introduced loving, caring, and supporting mother as they go into a car ride late at night to go pick up some hot chocolate from a store. As they're driving to the store, BAM! Get into a car accident, which kills the mom and takes one of Maya's legs because we know there's no way to rehabilitate a villainous character from a previous show than showing a truly depressing backstory. We get some of the previously on Echo recap with a mix of scenes from the show Hawkeye, along with some new stuff of Maya growing up under the tutelage of Kingpin. As we fast forward to the present, we see an injured Maya has stubbled into her hometown where she has a brief run in with her comic relief cousin and thus our story comes to present. Now let's talk about the action set pieces. Uh, and I use that term extremely loosely because they are truly the lowlights of a relatively thin show. Our opening fight scene in the first episode includes Daredevil and I will say it's a fine serviceable action sequence but they clearly try to do a one take and it just falls flat because clearly the choreography just isn't there. In the second episode we have the train sequence and I have to say that I found that to be laughably fake with some heavy reliance on green screen. Um, I'm actually not sure if Alakwa Cox who plays Maya in this and the train were ever actually in the scene together at any stage. We do have kind of this nifty fight scene at the skating rink, which I'll say about the only interesting about it was at least filmed in a fun location. And then finally we have the penultimate fight with Kingpin, which was just so comically bad with her sharing her unknown powers with family to defeat Kingpin by fixing his emotional damage. It really just ends the show on a whimper. One of the main issues I had with the show is that of Maya's character, who spends the majority of the show with three different faces. She's either scowling, brooding, or she has this resting bitch face going on. Now, Maya hasn't been in her hometown for nearly 15 years, yet the family seems to be really fixated with her and I'm not sure why. They did kind of show this nice scene with Bonnie when they are really young, but to me, if you really want to show this family trying to reconnect with her, you really need to build it up more in the earlier episodes. Granted, the reason that she left her hometown was not really for anything that was in her control, um, but then on the other hand, Maya just doesn't seem to really care, and you know, she constantly gets warned that if she continues to fight with Kingpin, that that's going to bring trouble to her family, and for the most part, she doesn't care that any of them are caught up in the conflict. Now, by far the worst part of the show to me was her poorly defined Choctaw ancestry powers that are really shoved into the forefront of the climax of the show. Even as the show is wrapping up, I don't really know what she can do, 
can she just heal anything, including someone's mental issues like Kingpin? How do you even explain her magical psychiatry powers? Does she also have super strength to explain how Granny could just punch someone through the ceiling? Honestly, everything about the powers from why they waken now to what they're actually capable of doing just felt like an extremely lazy way to try and retcon abilities to a character that didn't have them before. All in all, this show honestly just feels like... All in all, the show just feels like more generic content for the sake of content. It's focused on a character nobody really cared about, try to reconnect with a family that we barely saw connection with so she could get powers that flat out make no sense. Two out of five stars, please give us more Daredevil.